guys and welcome back to another YK Kamuka video. Um, I've just got an order from Steph's Pantry, which is great. So we had a bit of a um, problem. So the dead hamsters that I ordered uh, were out of stock. So they gave us 25 mice in replacement of that. They sent me a text message and they were like, oh, you know, would it be okay if we we gave him mice instead and I said oh I don't know I'll, I'll ask Boo Boo I'll see what he wants and uh, I said oh yeah Boo Boo says that sounds fantastic and they put on here enjoy Boo Boo <laughs> oh that's so funny so anyhow let's get into this video um uh, where am I going to start I have um emptied the box out already on the side because it's just easier than wrestling with the box so here we have we're going to start off with our Gerbils, these are from Kaiserbrink. There are many different colours of gerbil. So you've got this rustic looking gerbil, this white one, you've got a black one. Um, so yeah, we've got a good range of different colours. Not that the colour I think has anything to do with the taste. These are, you know, when you have your small dogs, so like for example, I have a pug. Um, whole prey like this is really good because a lot of the whole prey is massive and a pug can't eat a whole rabbit for example or a whole squirrel so stuff like this is a nugget of everything all in a neat little package so there we go probably going to get so much hate for that but um move it on uh on to the rabbit pups again by kaiser brink Again, a very good um, whole food to give to your small breed dogs. That's what they look like. And you just put it in a bowl and away you go. Some dogs may need enticing into eating uh, whole prey food. So you might have to cut them open or cut them up uh, just to get them interested in consuming them. And here we have our whole mackerel. Which nobody's going to kick off about. Now somebody will because I've just said that. Um, again, nice whole fish. Very good for dogs. Um, let's move on to the lamb brains. I'm going to show you these. So, got lamb brain. Uh, somebody said to me a few weeks ago, don't feed your dogs those. They'll get mad cow disease. No, they won't. That's not true. Don't listen to that. You know, they wouldn't be available if... if that was a possibility for dogs. And this is what they look like. Very nice and yummy. These are to be fed as offal, so they can be part of your 5% of a offal. Uh, it's very good to mix up your offal. So you want testicle, you want brain, you want kidney, you want spleen, you want thymus, you want pancreas, um, sweetbreads, whatever, whatever they're labeled in there as 5%. I'm going to move those over because these are all my lovely lamb brains. Uh, <laughs> we have our lamb hearts. We have our whole ox tongue, which some people don't want to feed because they don't like the feel of them. They are also quite tough as well for dogs to eat. So some, some owners worry about their dogs choking on them. I have not had that problem. Poop pancreas. An offal. We have ox tripe chunks, it's a little bit of a mouthful. Um, a lot of owners won't feed this because they're like, oh, it smells so bad, but it is so good for your dogs. Um, some people, their dogs won't eat it unless they mix it with fish or it's minced up with other proteins. Um, and some, some people, they just, I can't, I can't feed it, it smells too bad. You know, just, just rub some Vicks around your nose or stuff some tissue up there and and deal with it because it really is so good for your dogs. We have Chinese water deer, meaty foreleg from the dog's butcher. Um, this, this is a rarity. Um, so to have it come in stock on their site again, um, and obviously it's their pantry, I was like, okay, we gotta grab some of that. So we did. We have some kangaroo chunks. 
by Paleo Ridge. Um, this is a brand that I have used in the past and they're pretty good. So do go check those guys out. Um, I'm looking forward to this. Look how fancy this packaging is. That is a fancy packet. And then we have our duck trunks, which Bowser will be very happy about since he loves his duck. We're going to move on to the rabbit ears. Now there is a big debate about these. So people say that rabbit ears with fur on like these um, deworms dogs or helps with deworming dogs. Some people say it doesn't. Vets are saying it doesn't. Vets are also saying don't feed your dogs raw. They'll die. They'll get salmonella. They'll die. No, it's not true. <laughs> you know, it's not true. Um, you know, I've not had a problem with worms. My dogs have had worm counts. They've been fine. We've not had to treat them for worms. Could it be down to this or could it be down to sheer luck? I don't know. But either way, these are good for your dogs and your dogs are going to enjoy them. So just buy them. And then we have some squid tubes. You know, I don't like to feed these too often. Um, you know, I think there's better options out there to give on the fish side of things. Uh, obviously, a squid isn't a fish. Um, so, you know, I do like to add these in there every couple of months. Just so they've got something different to be consuming. You know, not getting bored. Got some horses. My fridge freezer is looking like a build a horse workshop because the amount of horse parts I've got in there, I could build several horses. So if you want to come down and build yourself a horse so you're not missold anymore, come down to my fridge freezer. They're all kid safe as well, guys. Kid safe ponies. Just build them out the freezer. Right, and here are the mice that um, were substituted for the hamsters. Again, little nuggets of food. My snake is also going to be happy with these. I can hear him breathing heavily at the door right now. Because <laughs> he just shed and he is hungry. So um, he'll be getting one of these later on. But this is what they look like. Little cute mice. Oh, what's this? Not for human consumption. I don't think I don't think anybody will be will be eating these. You know, I'm not sure that uh, warning's uh, really that necessary. Obviously, legally it is, but I don't think anybody's going to be like, oh, let me fry up some of these. Uh, yeah. Then we have some ox heart chunks. We have some lamb tongues. And this is what I mean about my fridge freezer being a builder horse shop because I have some horse trachea's, I've got some horse meat in there, I've got some horse liver in there, I've got some horse tail in there, I've got a lot of horse in the freezer. Um, and then we're going to move on to the testicles. These are pig testicles. Um, it's going to be some men cringing at this because my dogs are going to sink their teeth down into these and they're going to enjoy them. Didn't mean to do that. Um, and then we've got some goose feet, which are bigger than duck feet because they're goose. And then we have some pork feet, which I'm going to use to make bone broth. And I will be doing a video on me making bone broth. This behind me is the apple cider vinegar that I've been using. I really, really like this brand, so I've stuck with it. I will put a link in somewhere so you guys can go check this out to grab yourself some. And then here we have some venison chunks. So that is everything from this order. I'm gonna go make a meal now and get on with other stuff. I do have one little packet here, but that's for the 11th of February. So look out for that video because that video is gonna be very exciting for you guys. Right, I'm gonna go and get slicing and dicing, I guess. <laughs> Chopping. All right, see you guys in a bit. Uh, tonight's meal I'll be adding in two gerbils with the rest of this because obviously these are new and we want to see how the dogs are going to get on with those so we're going to have the duck we're going to have the kangaroo chunks we're going to have some lamb brain in there we're going to have some horse trachea in there we're going to have some goat meat in there we're going to have some ox tripe chunk in there we're gonna have some lamb tongue in there we're gonna have some pig pancreas in there and then we're gonna have some lamb liver in there as well
Thank you.